Upswings and downswings in the economy are all part of the cycle, but those downswings often result in the departure or closure of businesses and subsequently the abandonment of the buildings that house those businesses. To combat rising problems related to vacant structures, the South Carolina Legislature in 2013 created incentives for the rehabilitation, renovation, and redevelopment of abandoned buildings, which has largely proved to be a successful venture. But those incentives are at risk of going away absent legislative action in the upcoming session to extend the sunset of the statute authorizing the credit. In practically every corner of the state, one can find communities dealing with the effects of abandoned buildings. Vacant properties carry a significant cost to the taxpayers of these cities and counties. Local governments have to spend public dollars on additional police and fire services to monitor and protect these structures while also ensuring the safety of their residents. Communities suffer due to the lack of marketability of surrounding areas, the increased potential for crime around these properties, and ultimately the flight of families and businesses, all of which erodes the tax base, scares away private investment, and in general hinders the health, safety, and welfare of the public. The tax credit is funded by the legislature in its annual Appropriations Act, and a five-year sunset clause was added to the enabling legislation as a way to ensure the fiscal accountability and effectiveness of the incentive program. Since its implementation, the credits available for qualified projects have been widely and frequently utilized, thus improving the economic landscape and scores of communities around the state. In 2018, the statute was extended through the end of the calendar year 2021, meaning absent the passage of legislation in the upcoming session running from January to May, the tax credit will no longer be available for new qualified redevelopment projects beginning 2022. For more information on this and other legislative concerns, our governmental relations team stands ready to help.